welcome to the Pediatric Review, where I help you prepare for your pediatric nursing exams. If you would like a copy of the study guide, you can find it on my website, blossomwithjessica.com. So now we're going to talk about pediatrics, and the first thing we're going to discuss is growth and development. So as a child grows and develops, there are certain milestones that are set for them as far as psychosocial, biological, cognitive, nutritional needs, things like that. So we're going to go through each one. So the first is infant. This is birth till one year of age. Psychosocially, this is when they're going to be learning about trust versus mistrust. And we can remember this because the child is focused on getting their needs met. If they're hungry, they're going to cry. If they are dirty, they're going to cry. And if their caretaker comes to them and changes them and feeds them and nurtures them, they're going to learn to have a sense of trust. However, if those things don't happen, they're going to have mistrust because they can't rely on others to care for them. Biologically, their weight is going to double at six months of age and then triple at a year. Their length will be 2.5 centimeters per month until six months, and at one year, their length increases by 50%. Their fontanelles, the posterior, closes at six to eight weeks, and the anterior at 12 to 18 months. Vision can focus at four weeks. Fine motor skills will be grasping. And gross motor, they will have some head control, be sitting and crawling. Cognitively, they'll have sensory motor functions. They'll use reflexes and move voluntarily using senses to interact with the environment. They'll have reflexive behaviors, simple and repetitive behaviors, and we'll go through reflexes later have repetitive movements, imitation behaviors, and object permanence. This is important. This is acquiring memory happens at six to eight months. So object permanence is knowing that something is there even if you can't see it. So if you show the child a block and then you put the block behind a couch or something, the child will look around the couch or the chair to try to see and find that block. They'll realize it's there. It's the same thing when you cover your face. That's why young kids like peekaboo because you hide your face and then you're there and they're excited because they don't have that object permanence yet. But then as they get older, they know that your face is going to be behind the hands. Nutritionally, they have to have milk for the first six months. Solids at six months. This includes iron fortified cereals, rice, barley, oatmeal, and multigrain. We want to make sure they get 400 IU vitamin D to prevent rickets. Usually that's why the cereal is fortified. It will help that in it. We want to introduce vegetables and fruits one at a time and do not give them honey till one year because this can cause botulism in children. So that's important. Injuries we need to watch for, so choking is a big one. If you get any questions about like, feeding a child foods, if there are things that they can choke on, like blueberries, candy, grapes, anything that can get stuck in their throat, that is not going to be the correct answer for a child under one because we're worried about choking, motor vehicle accidents, drowning, suffocation, and sleeping while they're sleeping. Nursing interventions, we want to encourage parents to hold the child and remain with the patient, provide opportunities for non-nutritive sucking, like pacifiers, things like that. Provide the patient with toys for comfort and stimulation. So this is if they're in the hospital, these are nursing interventions that we can do with them. All right, so let's talk about toddlerhood. So this is going to be years one through three. Psychosocially, they're looking for the milestone of autonomy versus shame and doubt. We want to give them autonomy. We want to let them explore, gain confidence, have confidence in themselves. We don't want to put them down or tell them you can't do that, don't do this. We want to allow for their growth. It helps to differentiate their, their self from others. That's what they're, they're learning to control bodily functions, such as using the restroom and things like that. They're increasing their communication and they do have some negativism. So they'll say no, they'll be defiant. That's why we hear the terrible twos. That is normal. Biologically, their growth is slowing. 
Their birth weight has quadrupled by 2.5 per year. Their weight has quadrupled by 2.5 years. Their height is 7.5 centimeters per year. Vision 2040 is acceptable. Their fine motor skills have improved. They have manual dexterity at 12 to 15 months. They can throw a ball at 18 months. Their gross motor skills include walking at 12 months, running at 18 months, walking up the stairs at two years, and jumping at 2.5 years. Cognitively, they'll start to have the pre-oppositional years are two to seven years old, and the preconceptual subphase is two to four years old. They'll have symbolic thoughts and they can perform mental operations. They're egocentric and intuitive. Language, they'll have four words at one years old, but by two years old, they'll have 300 words, and by three, they'll have simple sentences. Toilet training, they start to have sphincter control at 18 to 24 months. We want to ensure motor readiness, able to undo their button or zipper, things like that. Injuries, we're worried about our falls, choking, playing with electrical outlets. And nursing interventions, while they are to maintain toilet training procedure while they're in the hospital, encourage independent behaviors, provide rewards for good behaviors, and give choices, and be assertive. So when it comes to the preschooler, this is the three to five years old. Psychosocially, the developmental stage is called initiative versus guilt. This is the patient wants to be independent and be praised. This helps to develop their conscious based on their parents' reactions, so rewards or punishments. And during this time, they do have magical thinking. So if you get any questions about magical thinking, that's going to be the preschooler. Biologically, their growth stabilizes. They start to gain two to three kilograms a year and nine six to nine centimeters a year. Gross motor is that they can skip and hop on one foot at four, skip on alternative feet, jump rope, swim and skate at five. Gross to fine motor function includes able to ride a tricycle or bicycle, jumping or skipping, catching a ball more consistently and refined drawing. Cognitively, they have the pre-operational that is two to seven years. An intuitive phase is four to seven years. This is, they'll have more reasoning, but not logical. They'll have centration, so focus on one aspect of a situation. Time is abstract, magical thinking, and social awareness. Nutritionally, they need 90 calories per kilogram and 100 milliliters per kilogram of fluid. Play is more social, so we have to be careful because this is a time where there is a chance for abduction. They don't understand stranger danger. Stutter is normal for less than six months. Speech delay is not normal. So injuries we want to watch for are drowning and motor vehicle accidents, such as running on the street. And nursing interventions for this age in the hospital are to encourage the patient's improvement in care of the patient. So allow them to be encourage the parent to be involved give clear explanations to relieve fear, use toys, ensure the patient knows they didn't cause the sickness on themselves or their sibling. So the school age child is six to 12. Psychosocially, this is when they're in the milestone of industry versus inferiority. Patient wants to gain new skills and knowledge to feel confident, competition is good. They're growing their sense of independence, but peer approval is a strong motivator. Biologically, weight gain is slower, four to seven pounds a year, and height is about five centimeters a year. Loss of temporary teeth, dental health is important, permanent teeth are now coming in. Cognitively, they are in the concrete oppositional stage from seven to 11 years. Conservation and decentralization, so understanding multiple perspectives and part of the problem. They know right from wrong by understanding standards of acceptable behavior. And we can use a numeretical pain scale after the age of seven. 
social development. So they can have peer pressure. This can be positive or negative. They have increased stress due to extracurricular activities, social media, and cyber bullying. They have efficient language skills, so the nurse can use detailed explanations. Injuries include sporting injuries such as concussions, head injuries if they're not wearing a helmet, and risk-taking. Our nursing interventions for when they're in the hospital are to provide privacy, explain treatments clearly, and encourage continuation of schoolwork. And for the adolescent, so psychosocially, they're in the identity versus confusion. They're developing a sense of self and personal identity. They're developing autonomy, emotional, cognitive, and behavioral. Peer support is very important, and they're finding their sexual identity. Biologically, they have predictable sexual maturation and physical growth, but highly variable growth spurts begin early in girls. Cognitively, they're in the formal operational. They have abstract thinking, so they can think of past experiences and future consequences, formal logic and decision-making. They're also egocentric, so they can look deeper into themselves and see what they desire and how they'd like to achieve it. Socially, their family and parent relationships, peer groups, romantic relationships, social environment, mental health, eating disorder, ADHD, anger, and suicide. And our nursing interventions for this age group include privacy and confidentiality, quiet and non-threatening environment, and encourage participation in making treatment decisions. So let's talk about developmental skills. So at age three, the gross motor function should be walking upstairs with alternate feet, tricycle riding, and jumping forward. Fine motor functions include drawing circles, feeding self, and gripping crayons. Language, three to four word sentences, asks why questions, and can say own age. And social is associatively play and toilet training. By age four, gross motor includes walking downstairs with alternate feet, balancing on one foot, and catching a ball. Fine motor is drawing squares, cutting with scissors, and tying knots. Language includes names two or more colors and tells stories. And socially, imaginative and group play and focused on self. By age five, they should be able to skip, walk backwards, and jump rope. Fine motor includes drawing triangles, tying shoelaces, and printing letters and numbers. Language includes counting to 10, full sentences, nose days of the week. And so if you would like a copy of the study guide, you can find it on my website, blossomwithjessica.com.